Okay, this is gonna be a mini series, starting with simple lens mods and culminating with a real DIY cinema rehousing, meaning we will build our own aperture control, focus ring and lens mount in order to cram these lenses into REPL mount. That's all fun and great, but why though? Well, first off, it's an industry standard. Using PL mount locks lenses snugly into the lens mount, allowing for the best focus pulling experience. A lens can be easily mounted in four different ways, which helps if you want focus ring markings on a particular side. Next reason is variable ND filter embedded in my Mofage Poco PL mount adapter, which solves the lack of internal ND filters which is common in cinema cameras under 8K, namely FX3, Pixis 6K, 12K and Red Komodo X. Adapting lenses to a regular bayonet mount of your camera is a more common option, but there is always a bit of wiggle or play when doing so. So what are the main obstacles when trying to adapt a lens to a PL mount? Well, flange distance and physical dimensions. Flange distance of PL mount is 52 mm, which is considered to be pretty long. Other lenses are way below that. For example, M42 lenses are 45.5 mm, which is approximately 6.5 mm of difference. This should be easy enough to overcome by simply recessing the lens deeper into the mount, right? Well, yes, but this is where the second issue rears its ugly head – physical dimensions. The diameter of PL mount cavity is 54 mm, so let's measure a few of my lenses. As you can see, it is physically not possible to adapt the lens into a smaller hole no matter which adapter you devise. This is one of the reasons why big movie productions procure vintage lens sets with expensive rehousing treatments. But rather than throwing myself into the hellfires of lens rehousing right off the bat, I decided upon taking baby steps. First, I needed to find a lens which could theoretically fit into the PL mount cavity. And very quickly, I found my prime candidate Industar 50mm f3.5 M42 screw mount. It was 49.5mm in diameter, which meant it should be able to squeeze into the mount without any serious modification. In order to build an adapter, I took measurements for my Blazar anamorphic PL mount and designed a rough sketch in CAD. I'm using SOLIDWORKS, FreeCAD and OpenSCAD for practical engineering designs. Why FreeCAD? Because it's actually better than SOLIDWORKS in a few ways and I see potential in it. Similar to Blender, I have no doubt in my mind that it will rise to the top of the CAD world. Sooner or later, that is. I'm going to be 3D printing these using Anycubic Cobra S1 with Ace Pro Film and Dryer, functional parts in PETG and focus gears in PLA. I did swap out the original hot end with a hardened steel ceramic one 0.4mm. It heats up way faster, it is smaller and lighter and does a great job. After a couple of iterations, it finally fit and it hits infinity focus. This lens has a surprisingly smooth helicoid and in order to use it with focus motors, we should make a focus gear ring. The thing that might pose a bit of a problem with this particular lens is that the focus ring moves up and down along with the front lens element. This is generally a problem, but we'll solve it simply by measuring the distance it covers and make an appropriately sized focus ring. For this, I've found an open SCAD script which enables you to parametrize your focus gear designs. The code is lovely and elegant and I'm gonna rewrite it for practice, but you can skip the programming stuff and alter these values here. So the focus ring diameter is 45.6 millimeters, the distance it covers is around 11 to 12 millimeters and that should be it. Of course, there has to be a couple of iterations to nail down the tolerances so it fits just right. But now we're done, we're golden, right? Well, not quite. It fits, we have infinity focus. Focus motor drives the lens, but we don't have aperture control. Why? Well, look where the aperture ring actually is. <sighs> it's so small. Back to the drawing board. We are gonna make a press fit ring with a protruding handle, like so. It's a bit steampunkish, but I like it. Of course, there were three versions until I hit it just right. Lo and behold, we have the pancakiest PL mount lens ever. Now when I look at it, we should make a rear lens cap though. And it's done. I wasn't expecting anything special out of this lens and I perceived it merely as a cheap low stakes disposable guinea pig, but now I kinda like it. It's nice small, focus ring is the smoothest ever, optically speaking it has a blooming tendency and a slight vignette wide open. 
but this just might be usable for some commercial projects. Anyhow, join me next time when we tackle a slightly more difficult conversion on a lens used for filming Dune.